What is going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I got signed as a male model and I'm also going to be giving you five tips on how you can get signed too. So the first thing I noticed was that on YouTube, there are a lot of videos talking about how you can get into modeling as a girl, but there are only a handful talking about how you can get into modeling as a man. So I thought it might be an idea for me to make a video on how I got signed. I'm very new to modeling, but then again, it might be nice for you guys to follow me on my journey. So if you're not that interested in my journey, you can skip right to the five tips. I will leave the timestamps down below. So I wasn't overweight, but I also wasn't really skinny growing up. I kind of had like a skinny fat build, like I had a chubby face. And this like persisted until probably my mid twenties. And from what I understand, male faces develop over time, provided the bone structure is strong. Look at Chris Hemsworth. He never had like his pretty boy face, right? He went from just looking like a regular guy to suddenly in his late twenties looking the way he does now. And he's looked like that for the last 10 years. I never really considered myself attractive. In fact, a good example of this was when I mentioned to a friend, one of my closest friends at school, we were both like 17 at the time. I threw the idea out there that I wanted to try some modeling. It was, it was more of a joke more than anything else. Cause I kind of, I was like, yeah, I don't think I could be a model. But he literally said to me, oh yeah, man, models don't have to be good looking. They just need a good personality. <laughs> at the start of last year, February, 2023, I decided to try some online dating because I was like, I've never tried it before. It looks like it's so far out of my comfort zone that I need it to grow and I need to be rejected in order to get over the fear of rejection. So I signed up to online dating and my friend who is a videographer took some photos of me for my profile. And he said to me that, oh, these photos have turned out all right. So, you know, maybe you should consider some modeling. I just thought he was taking piss. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Then a few other people started saying that I should consider it. And a few other people said, you're quite photogenic. And I was like, Okay. At this point, my face started to lean down, my skin started to clear up, so a whole bunch of things were changing. I also finally decided to get rid of the mop haircut. At the moment, it's a buzz cut, but that's because it's, it's for work. It's for the modeling thing. And another thing that happened was that I actually ended up doing quite decently on the online dating. Like, I got quite a few likes, quite a few matches, went on tons of dates. It wasn't until my dad's 60th birthday party that I ran into my mum's friend who works in fashion. I think she's a fashion designer. Anyway, she asked me if I could runway model for her. That's the first thing she said to me. She also said that I looked like a male model. And at that point I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I should try this. After this, I watched some YouTube videos and I looked into modeling a little bit more, I looked at the agencies I could apply to. One of the tips I got was to create an Instagram page and put it like pictures on it. One day I got a message from a scout who said that he was from the men's board in Wilhelmina in London. Of course, like you're skeptical, right? Cause you hear stories of this happening. It turned out to be legit. So I replied, he said where he was from. And he said that I had some potential and he would like me to come in and meet the agents. So I went into Wilhelmina. They took the time to chat to me, seemed like lovely and were interested in me took some Polaroids, took my measurements, asked me to tone up, and then also asked me whether I would consider buzzing off my hair. So then they said, we'll see you in a couple of weeks time. I also had a few other meetings with other agencies and ended up getting more offers. I decided that I wasn't gonna respond like to those offers immediately. I was like, I'm gonna hold off a little bit because you know I wanna have everything on the table before I make an informed decision. So I went in to see Wilhelmina well, mean, again in early January. They basically took my measurements again. They were really happy with those. They asked me if I would consider buzzing off my hair. So I was like, cool, let's do it. The only issue with my hair is that it grows back so quickly. So I literally have to get it cut every one and a half to two weeks, which is yeah, quite expensive. The agents loved my hair. They were like, wow you look like a male model now then they took the photos they got me to do a walk after i did like my model walk they were like yeah it needs work and i was like okay great i will work on it say if you go and meet an agency normally what they'll do is they'll chat to you for a bit they'll get your details written oh that's one thing i didn't include they get you to write down your details they then take your polaroids polaroids are basically like pictures like profiles so you look into the camera you turn to the side and then you turn back and then you turn that way and then you, yeah. And they might also look at your walk as well. After you've met with the agency and you've done all those things, they'll be like, cool, we'll get in touch. And sometimes they will get in touch. Most of the time they don't. If they do, it can be a rejection email or it can be an acceptance email. Or sometimes they'll be like, we want you to go away and work on this and come back. And that's what Wilhelmina did with me. Anyway, I'm signed now. I'm really excited to see what work I get done. I've had a test shoot already 
and that went well and I'm just looking forward to getting the images back. Anyway, without further ado, here are the five tips. Tip number one is that walk-ins are better than online applications because if you do an online application, there are so many people under the stars, sun and moon that also want to be a model. And if you think about the sheer number of applications that they get, you're just, you're just not gonna get seen. So I totally forgot to actually explain to you what walk-ins are. Basically a walk-in is a designated time that an agency will open its doors for people who are wanting to get signed. Normally it's between 10 to 12 in the morning and then the agents get a break in the afternoon and then they open again from two to four. So the reason why walk-ins are better is that one, you get to guarantee that you get seen. That's the first thing. And you get to show off your personality a little bit more than just sending any images. The second tip is collaborate with other photographers. Do these time for prints, right? Because that's gonna build up your portfolio. You're gonna learn so much. I learned so much about my angles. I learned so much about posing. I got so much great feedback and so many great images that I could just put on my Instagram. And if you post these lovely collaborative TFP photos on Instagram, you're more likely to get someone scouting you. You're gonna be out there for agencies to see because actually agencies nowadays use Instagram so much to scout people. Tip number three is learn about the different types of modeling. There are so many different types. The traditional type of modeling is like kind of editorial, catwalk, runway kind of modeling, but there's also commercial, there's hand modeling, there's fitness modeling, I think it's hair modeling as well. There's so many different types, like off the top of my head, I can't even list all of them, but there's at least 15 different types. For me, I knew that I would be kind of either editorial slash high fashion commercial or fitness modeling. So right now, I believe that the vision Wilhelmina has for me is to do editorial high fashion modeling. I might get the odd bit of commercial work in there as well because that's where the money is. Definitely learn about the different types of modeling and which ones might suit you best because someone who has a distinct look might appeal more to like a high fashion editorial kind of vibe image but someone who looks a little bit more conventional and has a great smile might be more suited towards commercial modeling why is this important it's super important because if you apply to like a high fashion editorial agency when you're more of a commercial you're probably going to get rejected and vice versa tip number four is to reach out to people who are more experienced than you already like reach out and ask for advice don't be afraid to ask for advice of course, you guys can connect with me on Instagram at the real Matt Chung. If you're thinking about getting into modeling, I will do my best to help you. Just drop me a DM on Instagram and I will do my best to answer the question. So I actually reached out to another model and he's like in the commercial space. He's already signed to Models 1. But I actually messaged him on Instagram when I was first getting started because I saw his video on how there aren't that many Asian male models. And I just, you know, I said that. And I said, I watched your video on that. It really inspired me. I basically asked loads of questions. And to my surprise, the next day, he not only replied to my message, but he followed me back. And bearing in mind, he has like 17.5K subscribers or followers on Instagram. Don't be afraid to reach out to people who have done this. Most of the time you will get ignored, but you never know unless you ask. The final tip is don't give up. Nothing in life ever comes easy. And I'll tell you like the honest truth. I got rejected so many times from so many different agencies. They don't even get back to you half the time. They say, we'll get back to you in a week. They never do, or they actually send you a rejection email. Or when you do the walk-in, like I went into Select and I had a chat with the agent for a bit and pretty much like a minute into the chat, she was like, cool, so just to let you know, we're not looking for anybody right now. And I was like, ah. and then they give you this little sheet and they're like, go to these other agencies. These other agencies might take you and you're like, oh, thank you. It's basically them telling you to piss off. If you want something, you just can't give up. You have to keep trying. like. Sometimes you won't get it the first time. You have to keep trying again and again and again. I was very lucky in that I got scouted on Instagram. I only ended up getting about three or four offers out of the 30 agencies that I applied to in total. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then of course, give this video a like as it really helps the channel out. And if you would like to see more videos like this, I'm making an entire series on like modeling and skincare, lifestyle, then why not consider subscribing? I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.